Verony Calvi, and I want to talk to you about Tetanus, or popularly called in Nigerian terms, Titanus. This is a serious infection of the nervous system that is caused by a bacteria. This bacteria is called Clostridium titani and it's usually found in the soil, in ash, manure, animal dung, and rusted tools. The spores, which are the reproductive form or more like the eggs of this bacteria, are very resistant to heat and so they can last for many years without dying. When the spores get into the body, they develop into the full form of the bacteria and cause the infection, tetanus. Tetanus is not a communicable disease, so it cannot be passed from person to person. The way it gets into the body is through a break in the skin from an injury. It can get into the skin through dirty and contaminated wounds, puncture wounds from bottles, needles, pressure wounds, surgical procedures, dental infection, and even clean bruises. Anyone can have tetanus, but it's more common and serious in pregnant women and children. Tetanus that occurs during pregnancy or within six weeks after birth is called maternal tetanus. And tetanus that occurs within the first 28 days of life is called neonatal tetanus. Tetanus is commonly called lockjaw because of one of its classical symptoms, which is the tightening of the jaw muscles and muscles of the neck. Other symptoms include seizures, difficulty in swallowing, sudden involuntary muscle spasm that may be triggered by light or noise. This is why tetanus patients are nursed in quiet and dimly lit rooms. Now, these muscle spasms are characterized by a classical arcing of the head, the neck, and the spine in a backwards position called opistotonus. There is also general muscle stiffness, headaches, and fever. Two in every 10 cases of tetanus are fatal and can result in life-threatening complications such as fractures, difficulty in breathing. Most clients may need supplementary oxygen. There could also be tightening of the vocal cord interfering with speech. There could be brain damage and eventually death. Tetanus is a fatal disease condition that can be prevented. And this is done by up-to-date vaccination and proper wound care. The tetanus vaccine provides temporary immunity against the disease. Clients who have been previously infected with tetanus or have been previously vaccinated can still be reinfected. So it is important that individuals receive the vaccine at stipulated time intervals. The vaccine is recommended for all ages with booster doses throughout life. For children, they usually receive what we call the DPT combination vaccine, which is the diphtheria, pertussis, and tetanus combination vaccine. And it's given at two months, four months, six months, 15 to 18 months, and four to six years of age. Adults receive the tetanus toxoid vaccine and it's given every 10 years. Pregnant women also receive the tetanus toxoid vaccine. Usually they receive a first dose at the first contact during antenatal clinic disease. After, after four weeks, they receive the next dose known as the TT2 vaccine. After about six months, they receive the TT3 vaccine. And then after one to five years, they receive the TT4 vaccine. And then after 10 years, they receive TT5 vaccine. It is important that every pregnant woman should receive at least two doses of the tetanus toxoid vaccine before delivery. This helps to protect them against tetanus and also provide immunity for their baby till the baby is able to receive the first dose of their DPT vaccine. There are people that tetanus toxoid vaccine may not be recommended for and these people are those that have experienced life-threatening allergic reactions from previous doses of tetanus toxoid vaccine. 
Also, people who have a severe acute febrile illness will not take the vaccine till when they are well before they do so. You may experience some mild side effects when you get the tetanus toxoid vaccine and this may be pain and redness at the injection site. There may also be mild fever, malaise and headaches but these usually go after a few days or when you take some medications. You can get tetanus toxoid vaccine at the closest healthcare facility to you. I hope you take your tetanus toxoid vaccine. Alright, bye bye!